You know what really grinds my gears is those folks who don't want to do anything until their ox gets gored. Okay, and what I'm talking about is folks like myself who say, hey, you know, taxes might go up here, or you might end up having to pay out the butt there. Yeah, man, I hear you, but talk, 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 talk. But then when they get to the proverbial pump and they say, man, this gas is expensive. This is ridiculous. How can they do that? How can other people let other people get away with that? And it's like, really? Where were you when I was saying this? Okay, where were you when others were saying that this was poised to happen? And again, I'm just using this as uh, the proverbial pump as a as an example because folks tend not to get involved again until their ox gets gored, until something happens to them. Then the only kind of engagement we see is them bowing their backs and saying, "Oh, I can't believe this," and that's the only they want to complain about it when they could have been proactive and maybe listened to some of the folks that was espousing what they called nonsense before this happened and that can be translated to virtually everything we see i'm just trying to put this in a way where your average person can sort of absorb it right because we all see this kind of unfolding in in small ways in our lives where it's like hey i told you this was going to happen because folks sort of don't see outside of their own you know box they don't look outside the box so they don't see that other folks might have some kind of insight to give to them. So they wait until it all goes to naught. And then once once it does, the only type of engagement, again, that we see is people clicking their teeth. And then the only thing you can do is be like, well, I told you so. Maybe next time you might listen. But they don't, and they fall for the same stuff. So when we have politics and policy and legislation and bills and all this going on and somebody says hey there's a nefarious underpinning to this element here and somebody says oh no that's just a bunch of nonsense you know what are you talking about i haven't heard that and it comes up that it's this actually happens it's like well you know i knew that was always there i knew that was the case don't those kind of people just drive you insane you know for example when we're talking about uh, ufos and hey if you don't believe in ufos government cover-ups and if you don't believe in that You've been living under a rock. You need to get on board because those happen every day. Okay, government cover-ups. Those folks, they say, oh, government cover-ups. Yeah, yeah, I knew that this guy was hiding this, and I knew this guy was hiding that. I just can't stand those type of folks. Those type of, it's like, well, where were you when we were talking about this? Where were you advocating for any of the other individuals out there like myself and others who were saying this? UFO thing. Oh, I always knew they were up there. <laughs> yeah, got to be giving me a break. And when the, and it's either that or when something happens, it's like, I can't believe they get away with this again, right? These type of folks, it, Apply this to almost any situation where you've had a little bit more insight than the next guy. And you say, I don't know, this might happen this way, you know. And what do they say? Do do they come back? And very few people, let me just put it this way, very few people come back with their hat in their hand and say, I'm sorry, you were right about this. No, instead, they're either completely oblivious that, that it happened or they double down and, you know, go the other way. And this is where we find ourselves with Trump. Because I don't think that you get up to those upper echelons without having capitulated to those uh, power pyramid players, okay, in some way. All right, so when we're talking about Trump, I think we're going to see a lot of people say, yeah, I always knew he was a New World Order tool job. But nobody wants to say anything, right? Nobody wants to be the first to say anything. But when he's urged the attorney general to put a ban on bump stocks and he is endorsing taking the guns first and then going to court right he's not endorsing the due process he wants to disarm americans first and then go to court to see if you can get them back that's not good okay i that you were, we're talking about treading on the constitution now the second amendment so what's going on there and i mean he talked a good game when it came to vaccines and uh, pointing out some of the dangers and some of the inconsistencies and the arguments of the uh, pharmaceutical companies and the lobbyists okay talked a good game but now it's they have to get their shots this is really going around now type thing okay they have to get their shots all right and that's what we're seeing and that's not all if we see the implications with 5g and you know there was just a school that had to take a cell phone tower one of those microwave towers off of their campus because of a cluster of cancer cases i think it was four or five kids got cancer at the same school 
uh, due to this cell phone tower, okay? Incredible. And, and now we're poised to get 5G, and he wants to be the leader in 5G, even though there's enough dangers with what we have now. And the studies show that the standards they use to measure the safety of these devices is inadequate because they use this, you know, the type of technology that we had back in 1990s and applying it to what we have now, and it's essentially saying it's the same stuff, and that's not right, all right? So there's a lot of nefarious elements going on here with just this topic alone. So nobody wants to point that out, though. And I, just like, you know, you have everybody who's going to say, oh, yeah, I always knew that was the case. Really? Well, we need you now, because you don't get to these levels without having capitulated in some way. Okay, you know, if this guy is different from the others, how come the New World Order is still on track? You know, the term deep state has been co-opted. Okay, there's folks out there who think the deep state is talking about the left, as if the deep state doesn't transcend the right and left paradigm. The deep state is folks who are controlling these clowns. Okay, these clowns are bought and paid for. So when we're talking about the deep state, no, we're not talking about the dubious left. We're talking about the power pyramid players that control both the left and the right, and not to mention a couple of other places across the pond as well. That's what we're talking about. So when you, if you're only zoomed in to the donkey and elephant, you're gonna be missing a lot of this stuff. Okay, and when you're not willing to call out a tyrant when they're acting tyrannical, when they're putting policy in place that we would naturally say no way to, if we're not calling those out, then we're not the watchdogs we claim to be.